going to take a quick look at the Samsung Meteor M2. I've been uh, using some Samsung products lately. Uh, I found that they are really good for the money. They can usually compete with some of the way more expensive products. Uh, so we decided to look at some of them when we needed desktop speakers. Uh, we needed to upgrade the speakers here in the uh, in the studio area because we always need a nice small set of speakers just to plug in to test systems or just to have on you know one of the main systems in case we're not wearing headphones or whatever. So we needed something that had a small footprint but was also built well and had clean sound. So this met the uh, criteria. And um, these things are really durable. They've got sort of an old school microphone look to them. You've got like a grill in the front and a grill in the back. Uh, and there's a two and a half inch driver in there. This casing is zinc die cast. So this is about, oh God, I think it's about two pounds. Yeah, the, the, the total package weight is 5.5 pounds. So each one of these is around uh, two pounds. On the bottom here, we do have a rubber uh, foot. I guess it's one, I was gonna say feet, but just one big foot that goes around it to keep it from moving around on your desk. They're angled. I guess that's gonna deliver the audio more in a direction um, of where you're sitting. And also in the back, it's sort of angled down uh, so that if any frequencies go out the back or any sound waves go out the back, it's gonna hit the desk and then reverberate and create more sound. There isn't much to talk about as far as the specifications go. You got the two and a half inch driver in the front. In the back, uh, there's also a radiator, uh, a second, speaker um, but this one does not have a coil and does not have a magnet so it's just there it's going to improve they say the frequency response range it's hard for me to test you know the differences without taking that one out um, but it's in there to improve the acoustics and i'm sure they've done tests and done research to make sure that you know if they're going to put something like that inside here it's not just for looks it's actually to serve a purpose even though this does have a a nice interesting uh, look to it. Now you have one passive speaker and uh, one speaker that's driven. Now this is the, uh, the the main speaker here, it is powered and uh, there's a couple buttons on the side. You got a power button and then you have volume controls right here on this. It's sort of a rubberized texture. It's a nice little satisfying click when you press it. Look at the back here, you've got your audio in. You can use it with the computer or just you know any other device. You can just plug it in right there. Um, and it does come with a cable, but you guys can swap it out for a really, really long cable. Uh, since the cable is not attached on the main unit, you can do whatever you like. In the center there, that's uh, the DC adapter. It's 15 volt, two amp. And then uh, there's a uh, spot here that goes over to the left one. The left one is not powered. It comes with a cable attached, and it's designed to plug into the, the main speaker. Now, as far as the sound quality goes, these have what I would consider a clean yet somewhat small sound. They're designed to be used um, while you're sitting at your desk. They're not designed for you to you know, turn them on or put on some music and then walk around the room. Uh, I found that these compared to other speakers, the characteristics really change when you move away from the near field area. You know, you start walking around or doing some work in the room and you're like, well, these they kind of sound tinny, you, you lose uh, almost all the bass response, uh, they can even sound a bit muddy or hazy. Um, there's, there's almost, if it's, on the other side of the room, they kind of sounded like little treble cannons to me. And then when I got up close, I'm like, well, yeah, they still have a lot of treble, but they also have a, a decent amount of mids. And uh, the bass is there. They kind of advertise that, you know, this is going to do the job of, uh, you know, a 2.1 system with a little, little mini subwoofer. And while they may compete with some of the ones in this price range, really, if you want to listen to a lot of music, you're probably going to want a subwoofer for this. So I would not recommend these for lots and lots of music, especially if your music has bass. If you're listening to uh, talk, YouTube, uh, classical music, maybe even some folk music, bluegrass, that sort of thing, they have a nice, crisp, clean sound, and they do a good job at um, you know extenuating the frequencies that you're going to need for that type of music. So I do recommend them for that. Offices where you know footprint is important, do recommend them for that. If you're on somewhat of a budget but want high quality and also just a really nice build quality and decent sound, then this is a good way to go. I can see offices going crazy and getting these for like everybody there because they they do a really good job when you're just sitting at your desk and they don't take up a lot of space. Um, if you're a gamer, doubt you'll want these, no. So if you're also an audio professional, you, you're probably gonna like the sound that comes out of these, but you're probably also gonna wanna spend a little bit more money and get some uh, you know like studio reference monitors on your desk uh, or something like that. So there's a lot to consider here. Uh, I mean, in this price range, they're probably going to be the best built uh, speakers out there that you can find. They may not be the best sounding overall because they don't have as, quite as full of a sound as some of the, the 2.1 uh, units that are in this price range, but they're certainly going to be of higher build quality than those. Most of those are plasticky and everything, but you know, you get more bass. So I do recommend them, but only for the use case scenarios that I laid out in this video. So yeah. 
If you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the forum. Also, these are going to be available on Mass Drop, so keep an eye there. Uh, when they're on Mass Drop, you know, the price is going to come down because of the, the group buy. And so then they're going to be a really good uh, way to go. You know, right now at this price, they're a pretty good way to go. But as the price comes down, extremely nice for the money. So there's the Samsung Meteor M2. Mm -hmm.